Okay, for this week's Fallout Friday, we are going to complete the first uh, set of New Vegas Companions I've been working on uh, with Rex, our cybernetic dog. So Rex has a lot of really nice detail work on him, from all of his mechanical parts to the brain. Um, and as always, Modifius does a great job with their doggos. Um, the base is a little bare. It's basically just wood slats, so we're just gonna, uh, you know, be real quick and easy with painting that, uh, which should actually contrast nightlit nicely with the details that are on Rex. Uh, we've got like cabling here that'll have to be a different color than all the surrounding metal, um, fur work. So first, though, we're gonna jump into working on the brain. So. Unlike the robo brains that we've done previously, this is actually a detailed brain, so it has all the folds in it. It's not just the dome. So we're going to kind of use the same process. So I'm using my P3 Midland Flesh, and I'm just going to go ahead and paint the brain. Um, but I'm not going to leave uh, a line or anything for the, the fluid because in Rex's case, he doesn't have that green noxious fluid that we see with the robo brains. All right, so while that dries, we're gonna go ahead and work on the fur a bit. So what we're gonna do is take uh, two opposing browns. We've got a reddish brown, the gore grunt of fur, which will be our topper, you know, our more upper fur. And then the skeleton horde, that will be our faded uh, fur towards the bottoms. Now, we're going to go ahead and try our wet blending again. So what that means is we're going to take our Gorgrunta and we're going to apply the top layer of that and we're going to make sure to have it nice and thick. So we did that last little dollop of dark on there. So we're gonna be nice and quick and start applying our skeleton horde as our lighter pattern and bring it up into the other color. Okay, so as we can see, we got that nice blend between the two tones, help to take away the severity of the line. Um, had to make sure to clean the brush after doing the initial blend to get the lighter tone down on the paw. So that came out exactly as I want. Now, to finish up the brain now that it's dried, we're gonna use a bit of Vallejo Game Color Red Wash, and we're going to thin it down, so we're actually going to apply some contrast medium, and our intent is to just kind of glaze the brain a bit to where the red will settle into the cracks and crevices. So let's see how that looks. Oh. 
No, that's too pink already. So let's try a Blood Angels Red thin down a lot. So one dollop of that. And at least two. Because so we want a red, we don't want pink. Much better. And that should be enough. We're gonna clean the brush and then use it to kind of drag what we put on there already around. Basically almost wiping some of it off. Good. We can still see the some of the underlying flesh, and as it dries, it may pull away even more. All right, so the next stage of this is we need to go ahead and base coat all the mechanic po mechanical parts. So we're going to take our base gray sear and go over everything. That's why I haven't been overly careful with painting the fur, because I knew I was going to go over all of that. So that's going to be a nice long process So because we don't want to damage the fur or the brain. So we're just going to knock that out real quick. Okay, so as we can see, uh, we've gone ahead and got Rex's metallic parts all blocked out. I also did a bit of touch up here and there just to bring the colors uh, together. Uh, so next up, we're going to use some Flesh Terror's Red Contrast. Uh, I decided these look like cable runs. If you look at the in-game model, it's just some decoration kind of curvature on his metal. But he does have red patches like bloodstains like, or something there. But I'm just going to say that these are cable runs and hit them with this red a bit. Alright, so we also went ahead and picked out his mouth a little bit uh, in the same red. So that gives us some nice pops of color. Now I'm going to take some black Templar real quick and just fill in the insides of his ears and the tips of his nose. So another thing I'm going to do, I want them to be a little different because uh, that base is really going to be boring. Uh, we're just going to be doing brown with a wash over it because there's nothing else to it. So I want him to pop a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is take some Talisar Blue and I'm going to put it in between the spine plates here um, for a more kind of cyberpunky glow feel. Alright, that came out just how I wanted. You know, it's not screen accurate, but I think it adds a little something to him. So next up, we're going to go over all the metal parts with uh, Basilicanum Gray. Uh, just to go ahead and finish that up. And we're going to take it and thin it down a little. So we're doing a 2 to 1, just due to its age.
All right, so as we can see, it's looking pretty good there. Uh, we're gonna let all of the gray dry, and while it's doing that, we're gonna work on the base a bit. So, as I said, we're going to do a brown, and we're going to start with a light brown, so we're using Game Color Leather Brown. Normally, when I do wood pieces on my Fallout bases, I use Gore Grunt of Fur as the color. The problem with that being I've now used it for his fur, and I don't want to offset the two. It would just, you know, then he'd start to blend in with the base, and like I said, we want him to stand out since the base is so boring. So we're just going to take this light brown and cover the whole base with it. All right, so with that done, we want to go ahead and apply a bit of rust as well. So I'm gonna use our Vallejo rust. And this time, uh, because we're dealing with a very small figure, we're not gonna use our uh, paper towel. What we're going to do is use our uh, dry brush that's kind of a stipple brush and just stipple in some rust here and there. So as we can see I applied some nice light rust to there. All right. Now, finish up the base. We're just going to apply um, some Agrax Earthshade just to pick out all those cracks. Okay, as we can see, that wash has really picked out those boards quite nicely. You can see all the grain details. So, for a final touch, before we wring the base after the wash dries, we're going to go ahead and just do a light dry brush over the brain of that same flesh color we started with, just to take away a little bit of the red. We're not doing a whole lot, so I'm really making sure to get all the color mostly out of the dry brush, and then just a few flicks. Okay. Perfect. So... Other than ringing the base and sealing him, um, I think I actually, real quick, let's pick out the teeth a bit better. You know, one side looks fine, but still is a base color. So I'm going to use my ivory white. There we go. Say if I have any left. And I'm just going to add a line on both sides. 
very thin for the teeth. Okay. Yep, so we're just gonna ring the base and seal him and call him done. Okay, so our best cyborg doggo in the wasteland is all done. Sealed and ready to go. The only thing I'm gonna do in addition is take a little bit of gloss, paint on gloss varnish, and we're just going to go over the brain kind of thickly. We kind of want to leave a large amount of it there as if it was the glass dome. And so that'll put a nice gloss onto it and help with the appearance that it's under a glass dome. So, that's all done. Our next video then, we're gonna crack into the next box of uh, New Vegas Companions. That'll include uh, Boone, Cass, and Arcade Ganon. So, I think I might do Cass next week because I really like how her uh, shotgun looks all breech open and stuff. But uh, we will see everyone next time.